each Microsoft Access and I'm going to be using Access 2010 uh, I've got that installed on my computer there is not much of a difference um, in the look and the way the buttons are in 2010 and 2007 the only difference one of the big differences is the file button here in the corner instead of that in 2007 you find the office button which is like a circular button with the office symbol so we'll try to in this video I'm gonna series it's gonna be three to four seed videos of 20 to 30 minutes each where I'm gonna go through the tables forms queries and reports and and explain to you how they all work together first with a simple table and then in another separate video which most probably will be the fifth video I'll try to do a relational database so it will be like a two different tables and how they interact with each other so the first thing when you start access you get access uh, to this window where you can actually choose to do a blank database which is what we, we want to do now you can also choose these templates like they have this assets templates contacts templates so there are a lot of templates which is from the office.com which is the Microsoft's website where you can get a lot of already created access templates that you can use but for our purpose we're just going to do a blank database and if you look here on the on the right hand side bottom it says that's the name so for this file name I would like to call it I'll call it contacts because what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a table with a contact list which will have all my friends family and everybody's contacts in there so and it says it's going to put into a folder documents so but I would rather create a separate folder within that documents folder so I click here and I'll say within this documents folder create a new folder and I'll just call it access so now it will save it in that as contacts click OK and I can click create now one of the big difference you'll find between access and word is that as soon as you start doing something in access it will make you save it like you see we created the file and we saved the file right from the get-go because that's the way it works now in access everything has two parts to it one is what you see in the front and what is behind it which is the design element access is very powerful what I'm going to be teaching you in this three four videos is is maybe five ten percent of what you can do in access and so this is just a good introduction to get you going and if you like it you can actually go grab a book uh, from the library or get a buy a book and study even more if you feel like it but this is a really good introduction enough material that if you have to take a computer test at any of the employment agencies or anything like that you'll be able to figure it out and at least get good grades on that so so we cut to the part where we said create the file as soon as you do that access brings you to what's called table so you see up here it says table one also up here and now on the top you see the section there table tools so if I hit close here because I did not save it so it's not there anymore so this is like even completely blank so this will be a good place to start so we've got uh, some difference from 2003 to 2007 2010 is that they have created tabs so these home button this create are called tabs and then these guys are called ribbons underneath it so if you hear that word get used to it you will hear it a lot tabs and ribbons so you'll hear me talk about it a lot so the first thing I want to do is I want to create a table so but I, before I can start typing in the table the actual contact list I would like to design the table so I can click on design and this is what the design view looks like the f there is this section there called field name there's a section called data type and there's a section called description and I'll talk about that now so the field name is 
is actually the title of your columns like if you in any database is or what the database is is a list of records of information so you've got your rows and columns so whatever I type there in the field name which will with that will be the top that will be the caption that is on the top of the column header so that I know what information to type there so the first field I would put in there is will be called contact ID so that will be like my numbering one two three four just something simple and the data type defines what information you can put in that field so in this case I only want the numbering one two three four so I could choose the data type number that will give me the permission to put one two three four or I could select the data type auto number auto number means automatically create the numbering system one two three four for me and I'm gonna make this field my primary key so you see that key button I'm gonna click it and you will see a key type symbol shows up on the left hand side of that contact ID now let's take a few minutes to understand what a primary key is a primary key is something that is very unique to all the fields so if you think about it if you look at yourself what is a very unique thing in each and every one of our case uh, our names cannot be unique because somebody else can have our name our last names cannot be unique telephone numbers can be unique but sometimes some people doesn't have a cell phone two people can have the same telephone number but in the US what they call social insurance number in, in in them in Canada we got the same type of numbering so those numbers are unique a driver's license number a passport number so at, in access it's a nice to have a field which is a very unique way to recognize a record so this one two three will never be repeated for other records I'll go to the next field and I'll just start creating what information I want in my contact list so say the first one I would like first name now you'll find that you see I'm not leaving a space between the first and the name this is just an old programming habit that a lot of people have followed you can leave a space it's up to you but if you are leaving the space be consistent leave a space all the time if not then you can type the way I am typing where I'm typing first and then the capital N so that it's easy to read now again what is a data type a data type is what defines what information can be put in that field so this is first name now in this case I need to type words sometimes number you know if I was dealing with someone King James the fourth or whatever so I would I can choose the data type text now in access text means that it will allow you to type words or numbers now that's something I don't control that's just the way it is data type text will allow you to type words and numbers now each and every field has this bottom part called the field properties and I'll talk about few of it as I go forward and add more elements to it you see when I click on contact ID I've got certain sets of field properties when I click on first name there are some other so the, I'll just talk about this first one right now which says field size and on the right hand side you will see the information about what that field does the field size as it says how many characters do you need to reserve in that space now first name I know nobody should have more than 20 words in their first name so I think I mean 20 is too much but just to be on the safe side last name data type will be text I'm just using the tab key to go to the next section and even up here if I want I can make it 25 last name I can have a field called relation you know just want to see decide okay is this person a friend is he family is he a cousin or you know whatever wordings you want to use again that will be text after that I can have get their birth date now for birth date we need to type numbers 
So the general idea would have been that I would choose number. But in this case, they have a special data type for dates and time. So I would choose that. The reason why that would be good is because with date and time as a data type, when we are doing our sorting, you know, when you can put things in alphabetical order or in numerical order, if with the date and time data type, it will put things according to the year and then the months and the dates. So it will put things in order of that. If you choose number, then it will only put it as 1, 2, 3, 4, and it will not be a proper date order. So I'm going to choose date and time. Now, in the field properties, I'm going to do two things. One thing I'm going to do is the format part. Now, the format means when you enter your date, at the end of the day, how do you want to see your date? So, I'll show you the options. So, if I click here, so I can choose the date to show up like this. So, it will spell out the month for me or I can see it like this. I prefer to see the month spelled out. Now the next line is called input mask and if you think about the word input, what does it imply? It implies, okay, how do you want to enter the information? You could see the information with the month and the date, the month spelled out, but maybe you don't want to enter the information like that. You would rather just enter the number. So in the input mask, I start the wizard, which is the three dots at the end. It will ask me to save it. I say yes. Now it's asking me, I didn't save the table. I should have done that right at the start. So I'll give it a name. So I'll just call it contact list. Now make sure you've set up your primary key by this time. Otherwise, it will try to create a primary key for you. Click OK. Now this is the input mask window. Now I can choose to enter it like this, where I'll have to type. 01 JAN 70 or I could choose to type it like that so I will have to just say 09 or 01 for January 01 for the date and 19 whatever so it's up to you you can take your pick uh, I think for now I'll just take this 27 September and I'll just write here 01 JAN 77 and I can just hit finish. I don't even need to hit next. If you want to, you can. You can just hit finish. And it puts a section there. Now in the description section, I can leave a note and say, enter date as 01JN77. Just a note. After birth date, I can get their tell number, telephone number. Now the telephone number, the obvious choice for the data type will be number. However, the problem is I would like the telephone numbers to have my brackets, like the area codes in brackets. Uh, I would like the hyphens. So if I choose number, it will not allow me to do that. So that's why the data type needs to be text. And in the field properties, I click on input mask. I start the wizard. I say yes to saving it. And there is the phone number data type. You see right there on the top? I click it, and you see there's a lot of different ones in there. And I click Finish. So now I've got a telephone number data type. A lot, some of these things will make sense once I show you what the information will look like when I switch to the actual entering. So I think while we are talking about it, let's do that. And we'll come back and add some more fields. So if you look on the left-hand corner, 